When giving quizzes or assignments in your Moodle course, you might encounter a situation where a student might need to take a quiz again or they might need extra time. Additionally, they might take an assignment where they might need extra time to turn things in. There's a bunch of different circumstances that might come to your judgment on whether to give students those extensions or not. For example, if a student is having trouble with their quiz attempt and something is happening during their quiz attempt where they're unable to finish it, they should be contacting ELIS and not you whenever this is happening. This helps ELIS develop a paper trail in case multiple students across campus were having the same issue. In the event that this is happening, ELIS will investigate the student's issue with the quiz and send an email to the professor with their options. A lot of times, if we think that this issue is legitimate, we'll still say that it's up to the professor on whether to give the student an extra attempt or provide them extra time to take the quiz. Whenever a professor decides to give a student another attempt on a quiz or give them extra time to take the quiz, we do that in Moodle by adding a user override. This video will be demonstrating how to give user overrides in the assignment link or in the quiz link. Let's get started. When you click on the quiz itself, there's a gear icon in the upper right corner. Select User Overrides. Click Add User Override. Select the student in which you'd like to give the user override. And then choose the open and close dates for that specific student. If you want to give the student additional time while they're doing the attempt, you can enter that in the time limit. So here I might give the student double the time, so 30 minutes instead of 15 minutes. If the student had an issue with their first attempt, you do have the ability to delete their first attempt, but we like to preserve that first attempt in Moodle. So instead of deleting their first attempt, we would just give them two attempts because the first one has already been submitted and there was issues with it obviously so we're going to expand this to give them a second attempt. Once you hit save this particular student has unique settings on this quiz that all the other students do not have. In this example all the other students can only take the quiz once and they only have 15 minutes to take it. They also have a different quiz close date. In doing this, you can set as many quiz overrides as you want for any kind of individual students. You have the same abilities within assignments. So with an assignment, you can do the same thing and add a user override. Click Add User Override. So this is an assignment. I'll select the student. I'll update the new due date. And if I'm using a cutoff date, I'll also enable the cutoff date. In this case, the student has until April 15th to submit it, and they can submit it late for up to three days late before they no longer have the option to turn it in late. When I click Save, it adds the user override for that student. Adding user overrides is popular if you have a DSS student who requires extra time to take a quiz or assignment, or if a student encounters personal circumstances, like they've been hospitalized or they have to attend a funeral, for example. All of these judgments come within the discretion of the professor, and the user overrides provides a very easy way for you to make adjustments for those particular students.